he bowed a bell pepper. Somewhere south, there was a warm, beautiful land full of bell pepper plants. There lived Pipo, the green bell pepper with big cheeks and narrow body. For Pipo was so squeezed between his two bigger brothers, he looked like his eyes were to pump out. Pipo was in love with a sweet red bell pepper named Pepe. She used the raindrops on her leaves as mirror to admire her beauty. She was proud for her shapely silhouette and her vivid red color. She used to make fun of the way Pipo looked. One day, Spike the spider appeared on a Pepe's leaf. Peppa thought that Spike was charming and very muscular. She instantly started to flirt with him. Pipo was really disappointed, especially when he realized that Peppa's father, the grum, the old Pepper, truly liked Spike for his loving daughter. In a few days, the news of Peppa's wedding with Spike started to spread all over the estate. Pipo was very sad. All the Peppers were working on Peppa's wedding gown. It was made by weaved thin branches and embroidered with pink rose petals. But this wedding was not meant to be. Mrs. Sweet Philippe, the owner of the estate, cut beautiful Peppa for her salad. Spike tried to save his bride and bit Mrs. Sweet Philippe's hand. His biting was so painful, Mrs. Sweet Willie threw him down and stepped on him with her fancy purple shoe. All the peppers cried for Spike, even Pipo. Pipo could not live there anymore, so he asked his friend Crumble, the old king crab, to cut his stalk with his killer. Then to roll him over to the coast and let the waves of the ocean take him far away. So the Crumble fulfilled his friend's wish. Thunderstorms and killer waves made Pipo's trip very hard. Every time a wave grabbed him down to the bottom of the ocean, another one blew him all the way up. Pipo was so light, he could not stay at the bottom of the ocean and drawn as he had wished many times. Finally he was washed up on a beach of an abandoned island. When Pipo woke up, he realized that he was alone. He tried to yell for help, but he could only hear sounds of seabirds. Pipo was really tired and he fell asleep. The wine took him further into the island, close to palm trees. There Pipo felt he was becoming one with the soil. Suddenly dark was all over him. Pipo believed that was his end, when he started seeing the sun again. He could not believe how lucky he was. He looked around him. He was hanging by a beautiful branch and green leaves were snuggled him. He was alive and healthy again. Hey, you! He heard a sweet slow voice. Pipo turned and looked up to see where the voice was coming from. He saw a red bell pepper. Yes, you! I am talking to you. What's your name? The pepper asked. Pipo, and yours? Pipo asked. Pepper, with one P. The Pepper replied. Thank you for bringing us here. Because of you, me and my whole family can live at this beautiful island and watch the sunset color the ocean orange. Said the Red Pepper. Pipo's seeds grew to a whole plant. And his plant was full of beautiful peppers. We will name you our king. Pepper said. But Pipo did not care. He was happy to see all these peppers admire and love him. You are the most handsome Pepper I have ever seen, Pepper said to Pipo and he could not believe what he heard. One rainy day he saw himself on a raindrop and he became happier. He looked exactly the same, his shape did not change at all. Only he looked shinier from happiness. He was more handsome indeed. He was the king to the hearts of all Peppers and they were his beloved friends.